Do you have a tough time getting going in the morning? Do you lumber out of bed and shuffle around in a fog? Well, try getting your morning off on the right foot by implementing a short exercise routine that's designed not to be strenuous and tiring, but simply to stimulate your system and get the blood pumping. Such a quick and invigorating morning routine was described by old-time strongman Adrian Peter Schmidt. In 1901, he published Illustrated Hints for Health and Strength for Busy People, which included a short get-up-and-go program to do each morning. The quick routine can be accomplished in 15 minutes or less and doesn't require any special equipment. And for your entertainment and educational purposes, I will now demonstrate and describe this routine using much of Schmidt's original wording. Let's do this. To stimulate energy. This exercise is a simple and rather ingenious plan to stimulate energy in a mild way on mornings when you do not feel inclined to exert your strength. Take in each hand a corner of an ordinary sheet of newspaper and crumple it up until the four corners are brought into the palm of your hands, forming paper balls. Avoid assisting in the process by pressing the hands against the body. Completely hide the sheets in your hands. Practice this form one to two minutes, beginning slowly and gradually increasing in speed. Exercise two for a powerful grip. Increase your grip strength by grasping these paper balls as tightly as you can and then releasing the grip without opening the fingers entirely. Repeat about 75 times in a minute. You can also carry these balls in your pockets during the day and exercise your grip on the go. For strong shoulders, stand erect in a comfortable natural position, bringing the outstretched arms sideways with fists clenched, knuckles upward, elbows straight on a horizontal line with the shoulders. Rotate your arms, making your fist travel in circles for about 7 to 10 inches in diameter, spending most of the energy on the half circle that moves towards the front of the body. For a variation on this exercise, bend the trunk of your body forwards. Keep your arms the same as in the previous exercise, now with your knuckles pointing downwards. For convenience, bring one leg forward, bending the knee as much as is comfortable. Reverse the rotation of your arms. Begin the rotation slowly, laying stress on reaching as far sideways as possible, then gradually increase the speed. Continue the rotations for one minute in both the first and second position from 40 to 100 times, according to your strength. After this exercise, the shoulders will require a rest. For strong ankles. This exercise is designed to stimulate the circulation in the lower extremities and develop the strength of their muscles. Standing erect and without bending at the hips, raise heels and toes alternately from 30 to 60 times according to your strength and the time at your disposal. One minute will be sufficient. Vary the positions of your feet to bring into play the different calf muscles. It is advisable to take from 8 to 15 exercises in each position. This exercise should be taken barefooted or in stockings or on a soft rug. Raise as high as you can, avoiding dropping the heels suddenly. If you have difficulty in keeping your balance, steady yourself by holding on the back of a chair or to a doorknob to produce good circulation. Relieve your tired legs immediately with this exercise. With the right foot off the floor, bend the knee and supporting the weight of the limb with your hand. Move feet from ankles a few turns to the right and a few to the left, then up and down. Do the same with the left foot. If your time is limited, operate both feet at the same time by sitting on a chair, bed, or lounge. For strong lungs and chest. To cleanse the lungs of all impurities that may have accumulated during the night and increase the blood circulation, take two or three deep breaths, entirely emptying the lungs, and then filling them to their fullest capacity. Standing erect, reach upward, keeping elbows and knees straight, fists clenched, or fingers out. Stretched out as you please and feet comfortably apart, say about the width of your shoulders. Move up and down repeatedly in a rather slow rhythm. Lift chin up when in erect position, avoid leaning backward. Inhale slowly and through the nose until the lungs are completely filled. Elevate the shoulders as high as you can and draw the abdominal walls inward. Then release the abdominal walls and bring the body into position B, exhaling through the nose or mouth as you please, bending the knees, bringing the armpits close to the knees or touching them if you are able to do so Repeat about 15 times, which will require about one minute. Abdominal crunch. This exercise is practiced lying on the floor on some soft, yielding foot firm surface. A rug folded lengthwise in a comfortable bed will do. Bring the body from the floor to your knees by throwing your outstretched arms with an energetic semicircle forward motion towards your feet or knees, following with the head and shoulders. Avoid holding your breath as you sit up, but expel the air from your lungs by exclaiming, Whew! This assists as it brings the abdominal muscles into play. Avoid relaxing the muscles suddenly when returning to the floor as the jarring, which results is unpleasant and not beneficial. Back muscles and spine. 
As the reverse of the last exercise, lay on your abdomen with the legs in a comfortable position, chin or forehead resting on the folded arms. Consecutively raise elbows, head and chest together without the chin or forehead leaving the arms during the exercise from two to nine inches according to your ability. Raise yourself up with a spring-like motion, not stopping completely on the floor. Avoid striking the floor with the elbows. You wanna put the energy in the rising motion. Natural massage exercise for exhilaration. With this exercise, you move like a rocking chair, the spine being the rocker. The body is doubled up and this attitude is kept throughout the massage exercise. Start this exercise by sitting down, clasping the hands below the knees and roll backwards until the tops of your shoulders rest on the floor and the bottoms of your feet are facing the ceiling. Without stopping there or unclasping your hands or changing the convex curve of your spine, roll back to the sitting position. Repeat two or three minutes, taking an occasional rest so that your breathing may become normal. Don't hold your breath, but breathe as naturally as possible. Routine finale, the bath. That the tonic effect of a cold bath upon the nervous system may be fully obtained, it should always be preceded by sufficient exercise to put the body in a glow. But do not take your bath until you breathe naturally and the heart has resumed its normal action. It should be taken in such a manner as to wet the body all over, beginning with the head, then shoulders, chest, back, and limbs, requiring only from two to six seconds. I wish to emphasize the benefit derived from thoroughly wrapping up the body after the cold water application. It hastes the reaction and makes it uniform as it checks the loss of heat all over the body at the same time. This is of special importance to people who are not in vigorous health. Those who think that cold water baths do not agree with them will probably change their opinion after a trial of this method. Well, there you go. Advice from a century ago on how to start your day with more vim and vigor. Go give it a try. Until next time, this is Brett McKay telling you to stay manly.